Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Saturday, Super Saturday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And as we approach this powerful full moon, I'm going to bring in three powerful decks of cards. I'm going to bring in one of my favourite decks of Radley Valentine's cards, the Archangel Power Tarot. Such an amazing deck. When I had this deck all those years ago, when he was actually partners up here with Doreen Virtue when I got this deck, I just fell in love with it. It's amazing. And it's a great deck to use around this August season as well with the Leo energy. We're going to bring in this deck for power. We're also going to connect with the Emoji Lovers Oracle by Angali and the Twin Flame Goddess cards by Angali. So we're going to bring in some angel guidance and the energies of the emotions and you know, if you were in an emoji, what would it be? If they were in an emoji, what would it be? So we're going to use these decks to connect with you and them and your journey. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's the message around you right now? What's the energy around you? What do we need to know for you today? Wow, this card making itself known amazing. Just threw itself out of the deck. It kind of threw all the other cards out, so that one will come out. And this card's moving as well. What's the energy that's coming through all the card for them today? The energy around them. We've got another two cards coming out for them. And the energy around the journey. What's going on with your amazing journey today? What do you need to know for your journey? We've got one card. Wow. Now, what emoji are you in today with the emoji cards? I love this deck. So what emoji are you in? Well, what's affecting you today? So they could also be affecting you. Their emotions could be affecting you. What's the emoji around them today? Cards jumping out. We've got one sticking out and then we've got two cards that flew out. And what's the emoji around the connection? Again, flew out on the floor. There we go. And there's a card sticking out of the deck. Now let's bring in the guidance messages with the goddess cards here. So what's the message for you today? What's the message for you today? What's the guidance that you need to know? We've got one card. What's the guidance that they need to know today? What's the guidance for them today? Or what you need to be aware of what they are healing or going through? We've got one card. What's the guidance for the journey? There it is. Okay. So let's see what's going on today then. They may be feeling a bit upside down with things today. So they are trying to work things out to come up with a plan. So the first card to come out for you is the Ace of Raphael. Now this is a beautiful energy to come out because Raphael is the healing angel. He is the angel who helps to heal your heart. He can help to heal your emotions and the physical self. And what I'm really connecting with here in first of all, before I even read the message is the dolphins jumping out of this um, powerful ocean. And the dolphins is about simplifying life, playfulness, things becoming easier, things becoming lighter, things becoming healthier and happier. And you may be feeling that way in your life, that you are feeling better than you have for a long time. Even if there's still struggles there, you are feeling like you're rising up like this phoenix coming from the ashes. You've been through the dark times, you've been deep diving, you've been doing a lot of healing work on yourself, you've been finding answers, and now you're ready to fly. You're ready to fly. So you're rising up. They're showing me a seagull <clears> the <throat> block in my throat. So the block there is the throat chakra. So there still may be blocks in communication between you, but you can feel that you're rising into this new energy and you can feel that they are rising into this new energy, that something is about to take off. So I'm seeing this like a seagull for freedom. And also I'm seeing an eagle about to take off. So an eagle about to become an eagle in flight. And that's a huge sign about their return to you. And Raphael is saying, lighten the load. Make things lighter in your life. A great new time is about to begin. And the Ace of Raphael is such a powerful card of healing that there is a healing coming into your connection. And this is also about preparing for the next steps on your journey. This is healing for your union, to be able to have that wonderful relationship together. That right now you're having new and positive emotional experiences. There's going to be a fulfillment in your romantic relationship. So this is about the fulfillment of what you've come here to do. Deep and lasting spiritual insight. So all the insights you've been receiving lately, all the deep work you've been doing on yourself, all the things you've been understanding in a higher way is going to have a lasting spiritual effect. It's going to work out. It's you understanding this, why everything had to happen the way it did. You know, we spoke about this the other day 
going through epiphanies and realizations and coming into the awareness of your own truth. So a positive new emotional experience is about to begin. And this is definitely stepping into your power and stepping towards where you're meant to be. So I definitely feel this is a card of reconciliation, which means coming back together with your person, coming into that reunion, talking about the future, creating the way forward for your relationship together, which is going to be deeply romantic, deeply fulfilling, deeply emotional, positive and new and everything you want. So there's a new cycle that's starting in your life right now. And this is such a beautiful card to come out. Oh, wow, you've also got the magician here. So Archangel Raziel, the psychic angel, is coming through to remind you of your psychic gifts and your psychic power and that you can create the life the way you want it to be. When you start believing in yourself and trusting in yourself and trusting this love, great things begin to manifest. So what you've been shown here is there's a successful beginning happening today to bring your romantic relationship to fruition. It says what you need will magically appear. And that's also about things you are manifesting in your life. So if you need money for something or if you need resources or opportunities, they're going to magically appear. You can manifest what you desire. So whatever it is that you need, if it's an answer to a question, if it's guidance, whatever it is, it's going to magically appear because you're believing in yourself and trusting in yourself. So the magician energy is you. You're the magician. You're the creator. You're working with the law of attraction in the universe to manifest your dreams. And the fact that you've got a number one there is also about this new beginning, this clean slate. It's like starting again. And I am definitely feeling that one energy as well as we move towards the new year, January, so many relationships coming to fruition. I'm also seeing this as between now and June in 2025, so many of you are going to be stepping into your union, but not just into your union, your relationship with your person, also into your mission and your purpose, things making sense for you. So the emoji that you're in, yeah, look at this, you've left footprints all over my heart. I could never forget you. So you know it doesn't matter where you go, where you step, what experiences you have, they live on in you, okay? Footprints all over your heart. It's like they are tattooed all over your heart. Some of you may even have tattoos that represent the journey or represent them, or maybe you've actually got their name tattooed on you. But, you know, you can never forget them. Never. You know, it's really interesting, actually, that this card's come out because in my own personal journey, you know, I've got my twin flames name tattooed on me three times. And this was from years ago. And, you know, throughout the years when I was trying to think, oh, I can forget him or try and pretend, you know, other things are going on. And I had each one covered up. But the funny thing is, you can still see the name through the tattoo. It doesn't matter. I can see it. And when I point it out, other people can see it. But it's still there. I can still see the name coming through. And it doesn't matter how much you try and forget them or they try and forget you. You live in each other. You've left footprints all over each other. And you can never forget each other. And that's what you've been shown. And I feel those footprints are a sign that no matter how far you go away from each other, no matter where you go on this journey, no matter how many years pass or months pass, you just live on inside of each other. So you're saying today, I've had an epiphany, I know you're the one, I know nobody else could ever do, I can never forget you no matter what. So I'm prepared to wait for the emotional experience I deserve, I'm going through a healing in my own life right now, I'm lightening the load, I'm focusing on great experiences, I'm becoming the magician, I'm creating magic in my life and I'm waiting for the right time for the universe, for God the creator to bring us back together. And that's powerful. And that will also bring up some triggers in you and in them. It says you and your twin, you and your person, take the label away, you and your special person will trigger each other's wounds from time to time. That's why you come to earth to trigger these wounds, to heal these wounds. That's why you are mirrors of each other. It says this is important and it's powerful. And it's also a natural dynamic that's needed for healing and wholeness. So it's natural to trigger each other. It's natural to mirror back to each other what needs to be healed. It's natural. It's a natural dynamic of this journey. And it's needed for healing purposes and for wholeness and to bring about a new beginning. So anything that's triggering you is healing you. 
You're saying, you've left footprints all over me. I can't ever forget you because I love you and you're my one. And I'm getting ready for this amazing relationship we're going to have together. And that's what I'm manifesting. And in the meantime, you're manifesting a wonderful relationship with yourself. You're falling in love with your life again. You may even be connecting with God, the higher power again. You may even be realizing the relationships in your life with family and friends, even your children are getting better. Because you were harmonizing things in your life. So I'm connecting with Archangel Raphael, Archangel Raziel and Archangel Raguel to create harmony and power within your life. And the fact that you've come up as a magician is such a powerful sign of you being authentic and living your best life by doing you your way. And knowing that you can handle what's going on and also that you've got power in your hands. You know, you have healing hands you have power to create things the way you want them to be. And also your third eye is open and you're seeing things very clearly. Now, the energy that's coming in around them today is the 10 of Raphael. Wow. So you've got the ace of Raphael and they've got the 10 of Raphael. This is reminding you, first of all, that your journey is protected. Look at that rainbow there. And that they have this vision of being with you. They know what they want. You're their one. And because they're allowing themselves to connect with you again, even if it's in a dream or a fantasy or a feeling, they are feeling your love blessing their life. So your love is blessing their life right now. And that's bringing love and blessings into their life. Because when they dream about you and visualize being with you and spend time with you, it's very harmonious. It's very harmonious. It's a happy ever after. And that's what they want with you. They know that with you, it can be a happy ever after. And they may be really trying right now in their karmic relationship to be happy and to have that happy ever after, but it's not the same. They know that's with you. Or they may be trying to distract themselves with other things, but it doesn't work. Just like you've left footprints, you know, they, they've left footprints in you. You've left footprints in that. So the love and the blessings of this connection right now is filling their life. They're allowing themselves to visualize and dream and imagine what that relationship would look like with you. And it will be very harmonious. There may even be harmonious energy around family, which means you could have children together already, or you may want to have children together. Or this is also about bringing kids together or having lives together, creating a new beginning. So what they show me is as well, like if you've got kids and they've got kids you all harmoniously coming together or if they've got kids and you haven't meeting their children there's going to be meeting a meeting of minds a meeting of others and this is knowing that things can be very harmonious so I feel they're getting past their fears about how this relationship will be and that's what they're fighting with themselves over so the two of Michael is that energy of the clash you know, the clash of the ego and the higher self. The higher self is showing them the way and telling them what they need to do to bring that happiness and that happily ever after in. And the ego is trying to hold them back, stop them from making a decision, over analyzing things, procrastinating, going over things, bringing up fear. So they need to find a compromise, not only with you, but with themselves. The angels are saying, look, it will be much better if you just make a decision. You're overanalyzing everything. You're creating a problem because you're overthinking it. You need to find a compromise. So the energy that they are in today, the first message is that they know that you're their one. We are soulmates. Now take the label of the twin flame away because some of them are aware of that label, some of them aren't, but all of them are aware of the feeling and they may see it as a soulmate connection. When they think of soulmates, they think of someone they want to mate with for the rest of their life, you know, someone they intend to marry or be with or someone they can settle down with and have a future with. So they are saying to you, our love is pure. It's true. It always feels right and it always did. You're the one. And you're the one I want to mate with forever because you're also best friends. And that friendship is what unites you in love. That friendship is the glue that holds it together because you have the, the friendship, but also you have the passion and the desire. You know, that's where the relationships don't gel, okay? Because sometimes you may have one or the other. So for example, if they're in a karmic relationship, they may have a really amazing friendship, but they haven't got the desire. Or maybe they've got the, the lust there, but they haven't got the friendship. So they haven't got the balance of what you give to them. You're the whole package for them. 
So it's okay to be in a relationship with someone, but if it's got to a point where it's just friendship or you're like brother and sister, as much as you may enjoy the company of that person, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to be in that. And a lot of them who've been in long marriages or long relationships feel that way about their karmic partner. They're just afraid of leaving. They're afraid of change. They're afraid of what the future will hold. You know, when my um, relationship ended at the beginning of the year, you know, it was the fear of change that I was afraid of. I knew it was over for a long, long time, but it was the fear of change. And it was, what do I do now? And it's all the questions. And that's what your person may be experiencing in that situation. But they are saying to you, we are soulmates. Our love is pure, true, passionate, magical. Our friendship is, you know, it's beyond anything I can ever imagine and anything I've ever experienced before. And I want to mate with you forever. That's how they feel. So they really do see you as a swan. The swan is graceful. The swan is beautiful. And the swan is also the energy of the divine feminine. Now look at this for powerful. You've got this dolphin. Now, you've got the dolphin in your card here, this powerful energy of two, which is also togetherness, but the dolphin's coming out of the water, and this is how they are feeling this, and I truly miss you. I truly miss all the fun times that we've shared, because you're my greatest joy. So they really do miss you, and what this is reminding you of as well is to lighten that load, you know, to lighten the load, to be more playful instead of dredging up the past and making it stressful or serious it's about knowing that the, the connection is so pure and true and that's what they are saying to you our love is pure and true that they miss all the good times with you the fun times you've shared so they are reminiscing about the past they're thinking about things in the past they, they've been nostalgic they may be listening to music thinking about you they may be sitting up at night thinking about you. They could be scrolling through your social media thinking about you because you're their greatest joy. But also they may not know exactly what to say. They're saying, right now, I just have no clue what to truly say to you because I feel spaced out. Because they're trying to work it all out. They're in this energy of fighting against themselves. So you have to have patience that they see beyond that fight to see the happy ever after. And when they are truly ready, they will communicate to you with their truth. That this love is pure. They see you as their divine feminine. They miss you. They miss the fun times. So the angel guidance is, says consult an expert. Now this is really powerful because they may be struggling with this journey and they may reach out to a friend or they may reach out to a reader or they could be receiving guidance from somewhere. It says, if you are struggling with your journey, help is available. Consult an expert to work through your challenges. Now, they may actually be having counselling for something. Maybe if they are dealing with an addiction, they may actually be seeing a therapist about that or they may be getting help in some way. They may even be talking to someone in legal representative energy. So they could be talking to a lawyer or they could be talking to someone about assets or they could be talking to someone about their finances. Or this could mean that they are actually talking to a trusted friend or a trusted family member about what they need to do. So they're not necessarily talking about you directly, but they could well be talking about their situation. So, you know, they could be confiding in the things they want to change, the things they want to do, which doesn't directly talk about you but it does affect you so you are a part of it so I definitely feel that they are working out what the next steps are how to bring in this happily ever after with you because that's truly what they desire now yeah look at this for powerful the energy of the connection itself is the nine of aerial this is the wish card and it's not just the wish card it's also an energy of everything you're wanting in the material world to come into place so the angels are saying your dreams are being fulfilled right now. And that's the message you've got here, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights, a positive new emotional experience. That's what's coming into your life. What they are dreaming about is having that happy ever after with you. So you're dreaming about coming back together with them and starting again with them. And they are dreaming about the happily ever after with you. The things that can get in the way are this fear of making changes or the stagnancy that's still going on right now and the heartbreak, but your dreams are being fulfilled. And this is a wish card, as it says, your dreams are fulfilled. That's how we manifest. That's how we create. We don't see our dreams are becoming a reality or 
our dreams will become fulfilled. We say our dreams are fulfilled. It's a I am affirmation. I am in a wonderful, loving, emotional relationship with my person. I am fulfilled in my life. And hard work leads to this. So this is the work you've been doing on you. And that's the work they've been doing on themselves. So the hard work you've been doing on yourselves is leading to great success. It's opening the doors. Now, this hard work can also mean work you're doing on your projects, your goals and your career. Maybe you've been working on your body and your finances and you're starting to see results. So, for example, if you've been working on your body, you may finally start to see the muscle coming through. Or you may start to see that you've dropped a dress size or you may start to see that you just look better. Maybe skin's glowing more. In work, you may start receiving rewards, results, so you may start getting pats on the back from your boss. Maybe you get a promotion or a monetary increase, or you get more clients coming in, or maybe you get more traffic coming to you through your social media platform, or you just can tell that there's a big shift taking place. So this is when you're loving life. You know, it says a love for the beautiful things in life. When you're being grateful for everything and noticing all the blessings and remembering that your journey is always protected, that's why you've got that rainbow there, your dreams start manifesting. Now, what the energy is as well, you're saying, I'm heartbroken without you by my side. This pain is torture. So you're both missing each other. Now, remember what they are saying to you today. They are saying to you, and they're giving me tooth pain because they are making a decision to come to you and you're making a decision to come to them. They are saying, I'm heartbroken without you by my side because I miss you and all the fun times we've shared. You're my greatest joy and this pain of not being with you is torture. So they know they've had enough. They're thinking, I can't do this anymore. I need to be back in your arms. And you're saying it's hurting me because you've left footprints all over my heart and I just can't forget you. This pain is torture. But this love is pure and this love is true. And they're working out what to say to you during this full moon ahead because they're saying, I want to tell you all of my secrets. I want to talk to you. I want to open up to you. But my fears are getting in the way. My fears are getting in the way. So again, remember, they are going through fear of change, over analyzing things. So this is why you're being guided to be patient right now. They want to open up to you. And the fact that this card's come out, this is a moon card. We've got the full moon on Monday. So have faith right now. They want to open up. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to tell you their truth, but their fear is getting in the way. And that fear could be about because they're in a situation they need to release or because they need to just deal with something first to make this real. And the guidance is Twin Flame Mission. It says, you and your person are here to fulfill a very important mission together. Working on your mission naturally draws your, your union together. And it's so true. You know, when you're doing you then it naturally creates the way. You'd be surprised how the universe will bring you back together. The universe will naturally create scenarios to bring in serendipitous meetings. You don't need to force this forward. And that's what's happening right now. And all the signs you see and all the synchronicities show you this truth and remind you of this truth. So you have a mission together and the universe is bringing you together for that mission. So remember that if you think, are we ever going to be together? If you fully believe that you are meant to be and you fully know in your heart and soul that you have a mission, then of course the universe, the creator God will bring you together in that mission because that's part of the reason you've come. God's not going to say, oh no, I'm not going to put you into this mission. He's going to give you all the opportunities you need to come into that mission. And yes, you have free will, you have a choice, but when the signs are there and you're being moved into that position, you take it and that's what's coming in. So don't worry if they're worrying about things. They may not quite know exactly what to say to you right now, but they do want to open up because in their heart and soul, they know that happily ever after is always and will only always be with you. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.